am the very model of a prejudiced Etonian. My diction is impeccable, my politics draconian. I'm quite the polar opposite of what you call revisionist. And though I went to public school, at least I'm not a wig of mist. I'm keeping the tradition of the gendry epic politics. How else are we to keep away the Corbynist of Bolsheviks? So through my vivid promises of dividends most decorous. I've mobilized the Brexiteers on levels quite obstreperous. I whip them up to frenzy in a manner so Pavlovian. They do not seem to see that it's increasingly dystopian. So here I stand before you like a skeleton Napoleon. I am the very model of a prejudiced Etonian. I've started all the classics from Herodotus to Sophocles. How else am I to criticize my colleagues' etymologies? Perhaps that's why I vote against most freedoms and equalities. These authors are about as old as most of my philosophies. I know of all the backwards parliamentary curiosities, like letting Commons privilege keep me safe to spout atrocities. I know the terminologies, chronologies, and glossaries. And yet I still behave as if we never lost the colonies. I often drain the public funds to renovate my properties, although I have more money than some smaller world economies. I never make apologies for lacking reciprocities, despite the fact that Swiss are written like basic commodities. My views on social issues haven't changed much since the Tudor times. I rage against the slightest change to long outdated paradigms. I lack the base ability to sympathize or empathize. My common scrawl exemplifies the privilege I symbolize. When criticized on women's rights, I hide behind Catholicism, bending it to justify my heart of stone conservatism. Yet I sound the clarion of fear of fundamentalism without seeming to acknowledge this inherent dualism. I try to write a paint a picture of a Brexit was utopian, and when they all explain to me the likely pandemonium, I patronize my critics with my method Ciceronian. I am the very model of a prejudiced Etonian.